In this video, we'll learn to identify gradients and intercepts in linear equations. So we've got three lines here. We're going to work out the gradient. So focusing on the blue line, it's going upwards, like uphill. Let's form a triangle. So it's going up by four to that it goes across. So we can simplify this to two over one and that is equal to two. So the gradient for the blue line is equal to two. For the red line, it's going up by two, so it's one square, but it's equal to two, because it's going from four to six. Four, two, four, six, across. Simplifying this, we get a third. So the gradient for the red line is one third. For the green line, this is going downwards, so we know the gradient will be negative. Now, let's form a triangle. So it's going up, well, it's going down, like right, two, four, six, eight, ten. Four, two, four, six, across. Simplifying this, we get five thirds. Negative five thirds. Do not forget the sign in front. So we've got the gradients. Let's write the full equations. So. That is y equals 2x for the blue line. So 2x, that tells me, 2 is the gradient. So the gradient is accompanied by x. And then we typically have plus or minus another number. That number here is 4. So that's the point where the line meets the y axis. We call it the y-intercept. So that's plus 4 in this case. For the red line, we get y equals one third x, and that is plus 2, because that's the point where it meets the y-axis. For the green line, that's y equals negative 5 thirds of x, and that's minus 4, the y-intercept. So this is the y-intercept for the red line and this is the y-intercept for the green line. What does the gradient mean? The gradient is the steepness. So how steep are these lines? That's 2x. This is a third of x. So this is less steep. This is steeper. This is going downwards, but it's rather steep. So we know what the gradient means and in real life there could be a case of what is the price per item. So if you go to a shop and the price of an item is £2, that is the gradient. Or if you go to a park and you have to pay £2 per hour to stay, a theme park for example, that would be the gradient. Plus the four the 4 is that fixed amount that you pay regardless of how many hours you stay. So that's 
the upfront fee typically or the entrance fee or a fixed amount that you have to pay when you book a ticket for example that's the y-intercept so that's the difference between the gradient and the y-intercept the y-intercept is always fixed whereas the gradient is fixed but it changes based on how many units you buy so it changes based on x 